Hi, I'm Jason Park, another developer for Momo2. A task that we naturally do when watching a video is identifying and tracking the same object over time. This has been quite a common problem in computer vision, and in Momo2, we've added support for tracking using points. So let's get right into it and type something like track the penguins. So it's going to output some text with these object IDs and XY coordinates, which we can parse and display on this video. And let's watch it. Cool. Let me also just copy this message from the model output. And, and you can actually parse this information based on this rule. At every time step, like one, one or 0.5 second, which is in these decimal places, um, we assign and output numerical IDs to each object based on their order of appearances. So the later ones would get higher number IDs. And the text will be sorted by this increasing order of these IDs. So in this penguin video, which seems to be, let's see, um, one, two, three, four from left to right, uh, based on the X coordinates you see. And when the first penguin actually goes away in the video, the IDs will then, will then start from two, which is um, right here. And this has been consistently throughout the video. And you can always easily verify this with this visualization. So if the point all of a sudden like doesn't shift or like shuffle to another object, then it should be fine. One interesting thing, one interesting thing is, um, let's see, when the occlusion happens. So if you look at this penguin, the initial point is actually on the body. But then when it becomes occluded or hidden by this another up another penguin, um, the point then still moves onto the head. This is because we're still interested in object tracking, and whenever the object is still visible, we still don't want to miss it, uh, this specific penguin. So the model would still point to the most visible part of the object, which was the head. And then when it becomes more visible, it points to down on this body part. So this is different from like the, another point tracking task, which tries to track the exact point while we want to track the objects that we see. Cool. Let's look at another example. You can also control the rate you sample the points from either in one or two FPS. And 2 FPS is a default, which is what you use in the penguin video. So here you can instead try something like trap the cars, but in 1 FPS. So it's uploading the video and we'll generate the tracks. Okay. So let's watch the video. And okay. Ding. It tracks it and there's some movement going on and it actually yeah does a good job detecting. And let's look at some model predictions here. Um, and if you look at the first frame, so there are actually five cars in the video, but there are like the four are the ones that's racing. So the fifth one is actually hidden in this edge. And the model actually gets it as like predicting as the coordinate 991, but it's probably just uh, not visible in the UI. And one thing to note is if you watch this car 71, it disappears and then reappears again. So I think the 71 had the ID of 4 because this thing initially was sorted based on x coordinates. So if we consider 71 as 4, um, I think so. This is when around when it disappears, which is still has ID 4. And when it re reappears again, it actually um, shouldn't be assigned a new ID like 6. And that seems to be the case throughout, right? At seven seconds, for example, it is still be given a ID uh, four. 
So the model can actually understand that these are the cars, uh, these are the same exact cars because they have the same appearance and have the same numbers. So it assigns those same identities and is able to successfully track this exact car. So this is actually a case when the reasoning capabilities in our language model uh, would really shine in tracking so that you can perform this kind of re-identification much better using this sort of a world knowledge. Um, in fact, let's see if we can just try tracking this car just by itself. Um, so this, num this car has number of 71. I can write something like track the, um, track the 71 car. And it's uploading the video and let's see if it gets it right. So the model prediction. Okay, so nice. So it gets the car and then disappears and then reappears. And it should, because the same instant, it should be have the same ID as one. And I don't see any ID too, so again, only one ID is assigned and when it actually appears. So the model has actually access to the whole video before it starts tracking. So at this time, even before number 71 is fully visible, it is still able to like watch the whole video and link to that this is the same exact car. While if you just take the screenshot and pass to like the image only model, like the Momo V1, the, the version one, um, you wouldn't actually be able to identify the car because the number is actually not fully visible there yet. And it doesn't have the context from this previous or next frame to um, point to this exact same car. Uh, so this is why you will need uh, actually a video model to do tracking well so you can handle these kind of cases. And let's try even something more complicated, um, like query, query rise. Let's see, I think. This 36 actually passes 13 in the very end. I think 13 was a leading car and yeah, this one actually passes. So let's see if I can write something more complicated like this. So um, like track the car that passes car 13 in, that's the, that's the one FPS. Hopefully it should work. So it should not look just last one to this number 13 and not track 13. So yeah. Okay, so it actually points and tracks to this car in 36. Nice. And then, yeah, it keeps pointing, pointing, tracks it. Nice. So uh, we've come with certain ways to track some um, car of our interest. But let's say like, I don't wanna keep writing these text queries to track, for example, this car in 42. Like I could just write like track the car 42 or track the yellow car, but who knows? Like maybe there are like some other car that has like a number 42 in, uh, in the other scene and or there's like another yellow car and so on. But I just want to like track this um, track this object. So we actually have this UI feature called like add tracking point, and you can just like simply just put a point on the object that you want to track, and write something like track the car, or if three words are too much, I could just write like track, and it would use this point as input and recognize the object that's being pointed and try to track it. So let's see if it does it. Um, I should make one FPS, but let's see. So because it's displaying a model output, the initial point is not wrong, but yes, it actually gets this car. Um, nice. So this feature is actually experimental, but again, you can add tracking point to any point in the frame and just ask you to track that object. So yeah, 
think this is it for example. So overall, tracking involves this interesting combination of strong perception and reasoning skills, more than we previously imagined. And yeah, uh, we're looking forward to like better handling this problem with our future version of our models. Um, yeah, thank you for watching.